Okay, so good evening, and hopefully um, we should be live. So welcome to another one of TSM's TFC live streams. So this one will be for the uh, the ironclad um, hull, and obviously the the new cannon, and the new special, which I think is in it. So let's have a quick look. I'm not sure if it's quite gone live yet, but um, yep, uh, I think we're on. Yes, we are. So it's available for six days, twenty three hours, and fifty nine minutes. So it's a full full seven day availability. So let's have a quick look. Um, so prize pack one, as you can see there, Earthshaker Cannon and the Ironclad Hull itself. Okay, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Bear in mind that these are Reaver Armadas. So it looks like Tide Seekers might be the thing, or maybe some Hell Rakes, so we'll see that. Uh, and then prize pack two, the new Cannon, um, which we'll discuss in a minute. There's some build tokens, which encourages, obviously, to, to proceed, doesn't it? And obviously, it's nicer that you've got some um, um, VXP tokens there for the Ironclad as well. Hi, guys, and uh, welcome. Uh, so it's interesting that there's there's a cannon system there, okay, which which is interesting because um, it's got some good buffs and some good stats, and then there's the Mauser cannon as well, which sounds very German, doesn't it? But um, or just the way I say it anyway. Um, so yeah, I interesting. So, uh, and then you got some some more build tokens as well and some more um, VXP um, tokens. So that's quite decent. So I might actually whack a couple of these out before the raid starts, um, simply because uh, it looks like they're going to be free. We'll see. Um, I'm going to use my cannoneers mostly in the raid, but um, I could also auto maybe some tier four targets with these as well, potentially. Right, so that's it. Um, like I said, so we've got three rounds to get through. This will be a dirty scrub. Really, really will be. Um, I'm not going to do any fine tuning in the hits. I'm just going to go and smash it out and have a look at maybe some builds afterwards. So this uh, TLC has also started a little bit before our first um, TFC show of the year. So if you're watching this, obviously, after the show started, go back to the show, have a look at that, and then you'll be able to look at, obviously, we're going to break down each weapon system as well and look about each weapon to fit to which hull and that sort of stuff and what we think is best for the moment um, based on the knowledge that we've got and um, the information that's been provided. So, right, come on, let's stop talking shite and let's, uh, let's go and hit a target. So... We know what they are. Um, I'm not going to get too carried away on specials, but tides, because of what they are, they they don't mind having these things fit to them. Um, hopefully, there's no lag. But we'll we'll see it as we go along. Um, and we'll go and have a little look at some fleet. Okay, so we'll, we'll we'll crack it open and we'll take a look and see what's available. We'll shut down comms, that sort of stuff. We want to get sidetracked. Um, so. I'm not really worried about the high tide campaign because that's uh, that's a rerun basically. Gets you another um, limited hull. So let's activate this one. It's running. So the first round, as you can see, then it's uh, five hours and fifty nine. Uh, sorry, so it's a six hour round. Okay, for the first one, which is good news. We'll close that rubbish down and we'll get rid of that. Wow. So we've got five encounters. This is interesting. Hmm. I think we'll leave talking about the Earthshaker's availability in price pack one so close to after it was available for four and a half million points in the last raid to a later time. I'm sure there'll be some discussion on that. Let's see how hard this price pack is first. Okay, so there we are. Pretty standard set of targets, really, um, and we all know how tides work. So, I've got some um, guardwoods on my tide seekers, okay, including the lead as well. So, we're just going to rip up through and, and get them cranked up first, and we'll get some um, get the overload working properly, and get the guardwood gatling guns up to speed. My big targets they always seem to slow, but as soon as we get some um, oil patches up and running, we'll be fine. So you can pick it apart to start with. Look, it looks like um, there's no retreat button, um, but you get six hours to do it. So for those individuals that do like to rip things about with some subs, we've seen this target before, haven't we? This is nothing new. The outer circle and the inner circle and the centre circle. So, But yeah, you can pick the outer circle off if you wish to with subs. Like I say, you've got six hours for this one, so you can chop it up a little bit. Um, and notice where the biggest splashes you'll get from these is going to be those centre um, flagships. They produce huge um, 
oil slicks. We've got somebody previewing already. Who's that? Thor. Hello, Thor. We'll pick this one off because it's there. Right, we're up to the full full whack now, so. Actually, so these are nothing special. It's just a routine set of tides. And the builds have been out many, many times. And if you're on my um if you're on my game stream page now, then you'll see this set of tides several times doing several targets. So and the build's there as well. There you go, look at that oil patch then just kicked up. So while we're using that oil patch, let's go in and uh, clear up the, the Hulk. Cause we don't want any more flipping uh, bugs to spawn. We shouldn't really get a great deal of damage here, should we? So it is only level 1 and the first target. Probably can just blitz that to us. There we go. Um, now I could obviously stop and fix, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right through and see what the overall damage is across. Uh, bearing in mind that I've, I have got a crew running, but it's only a, a standard cheap crew. Um, it's not a high level crew, it's a one star crew. So I'll run it right through and see if I can get right through campaign one with one, one fleet. be quite interesting. I have to say one thing we're getting, and that's a lot of weapons to choose from. I mean, a lot of, a lot of holes to choose from, you know. Um, so I'm not going to steal the thunder of um, of the show later on, but there's a lot, quite, no, not a lot, not quite a lot to think about, but there are decisions to, made, to be made by each individual based on what type of raiding you like to do. And then once you've decided what sort of raid you want to go for, then you should build the ship accordingly. That's all I'm going to say, because not every ship is going to be for everybody. But I will say that the Cannoneer is, um, if you're a player that doesn't like to blitz uh, and likes to pick targets apart, then that's the hole for you. If you're a player that just wants to blitz it out and really doesn't mind getting a bit of damage, particularly the tier 4s, then um, it'll be this ironclad. Weapon selection, however, is a different issue altogether because there's going to be quite a few to pick from and, and I'm not sure if you're aware of it but obviously the Cannoneer weapon will come in the raid so I think everybody probably knew about that I'd like to think so so we've obviously got the Mauser coming out now um, which is designed for the ironclad the, um, the Cannoneer weapon is not coming out one thing you can do, I suppose, if you want to go for um, a fine-tuned raid and, and try and do it for free, I have had it indicate to me that if you get the route path correctly, um, you could actually even accomplish an S-set target for nothing if you can work out the route. But you won't be able to do that with the Ironclad because it doesn't have the range boost that the Cannoneer does. So just something to bear in mind. Um, the Cannoneer has got a reduced um, built-in ballistic range boof, boost on purpose because whilst it's got some amazing stats on it and it's a bit slower it's um, it's got some better buffs on it than the than the uh, the cannoneer has but that's obviously to counter fact, counteract the fact that it's um, doesn't have the range capability the cannoneer does so it almost sort of makes it interesting because you might want to consider what armor to put on the cannoneer based on the fact that it's not supposed to be able to, oh sorry, it is supposed to be able to do the target for free. So lots lots of things to decide. So it's a bit of a puzzle, which I like, I have to say, and we'll work it out. Let's get rid of this rubbish. So this first round seems pretty, pretty acceptable. I know I've got a, a lead tide seeker here, but you could probably smash it out without. There's an awful lot there you can pick apart with if you wish to, as well, with with some submarines by the looks of it as well. I have to say though, in Kixie's defence, okay, if they release the Cannoneer weapon now and the Cannoneer special now, then what would you be raiding for? 
there wouldn't really be um, anything to do the raid or any reason to do the raid, would there? So they've got to say something back. Me personally, I don't know if I mentioned it, but but I think what I'm going to do is because I've got centurions already built and I've got the lead hull for it as well, the flag. I'm yeah, we've seen all these before, every single one of these. Um, I'm going to uh, probably start off with centurions, and then I'm going to go straight in and see if I can get the weapon first. Um, and then I'm going to fit them to my cannoneer. Uh, so yeah, to my cannoneers, and then I'm going to continue the raid that way. Um, Citadels is definitely not a, a way ahead, by the way. There, um, who's that? Oh, what's that? Um, Citadels, based on information I've got, which is that it's weak to ballistic, um, but nothing else, particularly explosive. I don't think you'll get anywhere with Citadels, to be honest. And for those that are in the chat there, guys, by the way, I don't know if you're aware, but the preview that was coming out tomorrow has been deferred now until Friday. So that's Friday at um, 2 p.m. PST. So it's another day that you have to wait to free the final decisions if you wish to wait. But um, yeah, we're doing okay here. So it's definitely doable. Um, you know, and there's lots to talk about, you know, like I said, this is a down and dirty version, but there's lots to talk about splitting up your holes and that sort of stuff, and yeah, I probably should have, but to be honest, I'm really not interested. I was also trying to look at two different um, screens at the same time. Is there one more, or is that it? I'm not sure. And the last encounter. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah, Argos just said one of my alliance guys there. He's um, he's in level two and he's autoing with his tides as well, which is good news. So um, we'll we'll just mount up this damage so everybody knows and see what it is at the end, um, and then we'll work out whether I consider coin in the fix or whether we just carry on and just see how how far these will get through. Some ways it could be interesting to see how far they get through. I'm going to have to split them up, maybe, to, or at least drop the the flag back a little bit, so it doesn't take so much flag. Otherwise, it's not going to last. So on my tide seekers, I've got. I don't know if you can see it at the bottom there. Oh, it's not zoomed in very well. Sorry about that. The um, for me, I'm using twelve Garwood Gatling guns on mine. I'll show you this build anyway. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no secret about this at all. I've, I've put it up on most of my streams anyway. So a lot of people are using different different weapons and that sort of stuff. The thing I like about these Garwas is once they start firing they just don't stop, you know. Once you've got them cranked up they just keep going. Whereas some of the other weapons, um, there's a lag, there's a pause, it stops. So while their DPS is high, they do have a reload time. Whereas these don't seem to have that sort of effective issue. Which is why I like them. And you know, once you get settled on a build, that's it. I don't have time to start refitting and refitting and refitting. It doesn't I can move on to the next next thing. The game dictated that way, isn't it? So, ah, hello Neil, and welcome. Thanks for um, thanks for dropping by. First time of viewing. Okay, well, <laughs> is that the pressure on me, or is that the pressure on you? <laughs> So, do you need yeah, this whole? Oh, I missed something. Yeah, there's something over here somewhere. Yes, there's, there's some bugs. So, like I said, do you need this whole for the raid? So, the ironclad. Okay, so the ironclad is equivalent. Think of last raid. Okay, so the tide seeker was the go in there, smash it, take some damage. The hell race was go in there, be cautious. Okay, an inch up to the targets, and you could probably do the S target as I did for free. So, the ironclad, you are going to take damage no matter what. Okay, doesn't matter how good the cannons are, doesn't matter how how um, good your driving is, you are going to take damage. So you will not be able to do the targets for free. It's designed to do mi um, a minimal amount of damage for the tier ratio to hit tier 4 targets. And you can take a lot of damage if you set the fleet up correctly and still achieve tier 5. That's the information I've been receiving. Okay. Um, the cannoneer because it's got extra range, okay, and you're supposed to be able to do that as the fine-tuned fleet, and you're supposed to be able to then go through and actually, if you get the path right of this new target, uh, to achieve the target for zero damage. But obviously your outlay is, you've, you've already built the hull, you've already got the, the, sh the, the, the weapons fitted, and obviously it might take you a bit, bit longer. 
So it's all about time versus coinage versus repair versus, you know, it's the typical thing, you know, so. Okay, that one was done. Let's have a quick look at the fixed time because that's what I'm interested in. Okay, so flat rate of three hours uh, and nine minutes. So, um, yeah, not too bad, to be honest. Um, and I'm using Steelhead's one star on this, by the way. So I'm, I'm not going to ref... I'm not going to fix these, I think. I'll just leave them as they are because otherwise I'll just be wasting a coin for a few minutes. But we'll go straight into round two, I think. Which is where we get the Canon System 4, which has got some great stats, I have to say. Then we start chucking up some tokens as well. So let's have a quick look at it. And we're in. So this is, this is down to three hours now, okay? So that was six hours for the first round and three hours for the second round. Um, so we're up to six rounds, okay? So it should be the same again up to five and then number six. So we'll, um, we'll have a quick look. Gets a bit repetitive, I know, but... Um, Here we go then. Like I said, I'll sh we'll, we'll show you the type, um, and when I post this up as well, I'll, I'll put a link to the to the Huggies build as well for these, again, just to keep people um, content. So yeah, we're back to the same set of targets again, so one to five should be the same. We'll just go the other way around, because otherwise I'll just be bored in my brains. Um, we're going to drop the, the lead ship back there out of the way a little bit, just so it stays alive a bit longer. If I'm going to coin anything, I'd, I'd coin the the flag. Now, while we're actually talking about this, why why do you think there's another TLC coming up as well, which also um, provides you with a second uh, flag tide seeker? Good question. Don't know. Okay, but one thing to think about is obviously um, the raid starts on the twelfth, and uh, it's probably not the best approach, but it doesn't really matter. It's a low low level target. Yeah, the raid starts on the twelfth, and um, after the raid, nothing to do with the raid, but after the raid, obviously the current uranium targets, which are the um, the blue ones that we're, we're seeing, they'll disappear. That's it, they'll be gone. So all you'll be left with is the, the, the Reva Armadas, okay? Which is the 35, 57 and 75. So just just bear that in mind, okay? My only concern with it is the TLC I've noticed. You're getting a second um, lead flagship, but you're not getting the opportunity to actually get the Tide Seeker itself. So that could cause some be some issues. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do about that. Um, but hey, we'll 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 have a look at that. They'll have to think about that. Or well, I haven't noticed the standard uh, tide seeker is available. Will be hello, whoever you are. Please don't say you know me, or that'd be really rude of me. There we go. So let's drop this back. So we'll just zoom in there, and we'll have a look at we'll look at this. Um, These bad boys firing. So they're, they're starting to wind up now. They take a little while. That probably wasn't the best approach, but you know, so what? There's the. Uh, you use the oil slick because um, there is a wind down on these cannons, but it's quite long. It's about five seconds. So what's good about it is um, as long as you're hitting a target within five seconds, you're, you're, you're doing okay. Yeah, the wind up's quite quick now, isn't it? Boom, there we go. Got two people watching now. Hello there. Squeagle? Can't even pronounce that. <laughs> hey, Cal, how are you doing? Okay, so that's that one. Okay, here we go again. So let's have a look at this one here. We'll just zoom out a second. And okie doke. Yeah. Got some twin targets here. So let's just drop that lead tide back out of the way a minute. So Tide Seeker 2's got the least amount of damage at the moment. So let's pull this one up a little bit. So it can take some of the cannon flak. Remember, these are concussive um, cannons on here. 
Uh, and that's probably why these tides are doing quite well, because I've got that armour on as well. I've got the top level armour to help these out, so they last a bit longer. Sort of staying out of range, but not, not brilliantly, but sort of staying out of range. Get rid of that flagship. They're doing okay. A bit like I might be able to get through the second round. So we're on a quarter, just under a quarter damage so far. Because we're already on rounds. That's good. Yeah, it's doing okay. We'll see what comes in number six in a minute. So. I think the tide could be a prize in the next week. Could be one of those chuckle waves. They had some linear tiers, didn't they? So, uh, oh, there's some just inches left to right, doesn't it? So, this is quite nice to target. You can sweep across to the left, back to the right, and then back to the left. I quite like this one. It flows quite well. Especially if you catch them bugs in the right direction. And don't go up too high. Otherwise, you get flak from the weapon uh, from the ships above. Really slow at the moment. As soon as I hit some of those oil slicks, we'll pick up. And that's it. The guard would start to fire nice and fast now. Just bear in mind, obviously, once you get the oil slicks, you can't turn very fast. But I really should know that by now. It's um, nothing new, is it? We're doing for damage. Pretty even across the board, aren't we? I'm expecting round three to be a little bit uh, tougher the last target. Or maybe a different set of targets, but we'll see. Utilising the oil slick if we can. Don't count for this one, so we'll just have to get up there. If we so I'm pretty even on damage across the board, so that took a bit more damage, didn't it? So I think I'm just being a bit more um a bit more um slack on my approach there. Okay, so round five, prom ultimate round for this one, for the second level. Let's say no fix yet for those who have just uh, just popped on. Or zoom forward even. Here we go. So again, yeah, remember that obviously these 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 do have explosive damage. So um, if you want to split your ships up a little bit, that's fine. You know. Um, I admit getting getting damaged, but for t to me it's just a coin, so I'm really not that bothered to be honest. I'm not extending the stream just to... No, I'm sure Ren will probably do his normal thing, because Ren's very good at um, breaking targets down, working out what's the best um, method, um, most ergonomic, the cheapest, and that sort of stuff. You know, he's, he's excellent at that sort of stuff. And he will let you let you know, I'm um, sure, in a off the weekend um, when he does it. If he doesn't do it before, his recommendations, etc. There's no point me going up and getting those bugs because I need to go and kill this lead hole first. Now we can go and get them. That's them. Yeah, so that there being a 75 Armada, yeah, and, and thanks Caltis, mate, yeah. Um, that for me is about a 20 minute, 20 to 20 minute fix on auto for these, so just as a test if he wants to know, really. 
So this should be something new that we haven't seen. So or we or is a raid target. We'll see because this is we haven't got this far yet. So this is the new target now on on, tier, on the level two of this TLC. Everything we've seen to to now has been pretty strong. So let's have a quick look. We'll pause a second and have a look at the target to see what's in it. Zoom out would be a good idea. Oh yeah, we we I recognise this one. Is this um is this a one oh two? Is this this is the old um S target, first one. Well this can be taken out by um by a set of subs for free if you really wanted to. Definitely. Yeah, one oh five, yeah. It is well what it is. Sorry, not 102, 105, it is. So this is the old original um, um, target for the old raid. And like I say, you know, I could have switched to Hell Race, which I'm sure probably Ren will do, and, and taken this out for no damage whatsoever. Um, just out of interest, then I normally pick up that that ship there, go up here, take out the middle mass, nip across here, pick out that one, pick out that as well, take out that one there, and then just zigzag up and down, take the rest of them out. But um, like I say, you're on my, my stream, Gaming stream, so so there's plenty of plenty of videos of that going on, and and plenty of other people have done it as well. So you know, I'm not stealing anybody's limelight here. That's not what it's all about. So I've never actually used these tide seekers in this. I have to say, so this may be a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's quite strong, isn't it? So this bodes doesn't bode well then for the final um, the final round because I might have to switch then to. to um, to uh, subs, but then that's what streams all about, isn't it? So, right, once they're cranking up, we're starting to do some damage now, which is good news. So I'm going to flip back down and kill off this uh, rear Hulk if we can. Need to get rid of these bugs as well. So that's a heck of a lot of damage, isn't it? So it's definitely time to switch to subs, I think. But this bit will be free, you know. You you can you can do this for nothing. I mean, we've been running what we're on 27 minutes now, you know. And actually, we could have been, had allowance now of um, of nine hours to get this far. So it's not too bad, to be honest. Let's get away from these bugs because I don't know why I'm killing them because the actual lead holes up there. Get rid of that goddamn thing. We may make it, we may not make it. And now, to be honest, you don't need to really worry about killing the bonus ships because um, that ain't going to get you anywhere by killing them, to be honest. They're just there. You don't have to. If they disappear, who cares? So, there we go. We'll finish that off. Um, yeah, so I can fix that and come back to it. But. Um, Because I'm a decent sort of chap, I'll just I'll coin these. We'll fix them up, and we'll we'll, we'll have a look at. Um, we'll get through as far as six, then, and then it's probably the two raid targets. Then, what do you reckon? Think it is? Hey, cut. How are you? I'm seeing you for a while. Happy New Year. He says I'll coin these as long as it's not too expensive. That is. So there we go. That's that's got the new cannon system, um, and you can see. Yeah, you can see on the stats there that. It's quite nice, isn't it? So it's got the ballistic damage there, 25%, the range an extra 50%, which is good, and a splash at 35. We like that. Weapon weight, there's 44. Just bear that in mind. It's a tier 5 item, so... Um, it's a good special. Um, and probably one of the best cannon specials there is. But watch the weight, and watch the fact that, obviously, we, we know we've been using the nuclear accelerator. Um, so just bear that in mind, because um, nuclear accelerator gives you, obviously, some boosting combat speed as well. Anyway, so go on, what, what is it, what's that going to sting me for doing these? 28 coins, oh that's a killer isn't it, eh? Oh my good god, well I'm not going to give you, I can give 27 coins, let's just recall that. Things I do. Tell you not to fix these very often. Hey, Nines, how are you mate?
Yeah, so to be honest, you, this can be done for free. You know, you can definitely run tides through it, and then I could have just run that little hell race through that last little bit and got away with it, to be honest. Not too bad. Um, so we're, uh, like I said, we're at 30 minutes, so that's not too bad. 30 minutes, okay. I found the ironclad, yeah, thanks for that then. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that just yet. And there we go for that. Right, okay, so um, let's just have a quick look at what we're doing. Oh, I'm fixing those right, so let's just cancel that a second. My generosity um, is overwhelming sometimes. So let's wait for a minute and let's just have a quick look. If we go out to. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, that's a zealous tank that I'm building. If you've not seen one, that's my version of a zealous tank. Um, only because I want to have a see if I can get through the FM both rounds with one ship. It'd be very nice. If I can. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. But um, it's got a bit better buffs than the Punisher. The Punisher I can get through. If you saw the stream, I can do a full uh, set. As in three and a half um, 109s without fixing. For about two hours damage. So, But I think this will do better. So I'm just intrigued. So it's virtually the same build. It's just got a few more bits buffed on it, and uh, the buffs are better. So yeah, that's a, that's a zealous anyway. So let's go in design mode. And while we're waiting for one minute or something, let's have a look at um, something for this. Uh, it's siege, isn't it? So where is that cannon here? There it is there. And let's uh, let's strip it out. So according to that, the ballistic defence is already 670. It says this has got some good stats, hasn't it? Cargo, yeah, tons of cargo, that stuff. Repair time, 2 hours 40. Bear that in mind, that's interesting. Combat speed is quite slow, though, in comparison to cannon here. Okay. Um, and like we said, we've just won. Um, so we just won this. And obviously with it, this is a 5 special ship as well. We could do several things with it. Like... I'm only guessing at the moment, you know, just roughly slapping stuff on. I think it's going to need an engine. Um, and based on those targets that we've seen, whoops, something like that. And then that leaves us something missing, doesn't it? So um, there are several things we can look out for to add if we want to. Siege would be a good thing, obviously. And if you didn't want to go for an engine, let's have a quick look. Take that engine off for a sec. We could always take a Vade off if we had to. Um, where is it? You know, there are several things. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not that one. No. Where's the other equivalent one to it? What have I stuck on instead that I shouldn't have done? Let's have a quick look. Right, you can't double up then, obviously, so... Ballistic damage and thing you can't double up what I was hoping to do. Hmm. That's interesting. Because obviously you can put on the drum ro roller, can't you? Reloader, sorry. And you could have had that, obviously, in addition to um, adding on the nuclear uh, accelerator. Which gives you combat speed of 22 flat, Eesh, which is not brilliant, is it? And bear in mind the new weapon then, it doesn't give you any speed boost from what I know. Oh, well, I haven't got the new weapon yet, so let's, oh, we've got that included. So based on that one there, there is, no, there's no speed boost. Well, it's an amazing weapon, looking at it, and clearly built for this ship. Then you're not going to gain anything, so you are definitely going to need an engine. So that is definitely, I think Kinksy have already thought about that. In this case, I take that off. Um, where did it go? And add that on. Which gets you to 33, 37. Bear in mind that's no, that's not um, ranked at all, isn't it? Uh, nines, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if it was buffed a bit, mate, because normally I hit the 105s and I don't take any damage because I use a set of Tide Seekers. Uh, sorry, a set of um, Hell Race, mate. So, um, and I've never actually just been through and blitz one before with a set of Tides, so. It, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. So you know, that's that's those are sort of you know you can play around with your bits and bobs in the middle and that sort of stuff. Okay, um, armors and those sort of things. But that's a sort of sort of thing I'd look at possibly uh, myself. 
combat speed is 33 which is reasonable you're not going to get any faster unless you have to use some um, S cannons or, or something else to boost your speed so bear that in mind it's a slowish ship in comparison slow 33 wasn't slow 12 months ago was it but it's a slow ship in comparison so anyway um, yeah and I've got some cannoneers already built somewhere I don't know where they are uh, but they're there so um, but that's what's on at the moment and I'll, and I'll decide whether I go any further um, and what to put that on those um, later on right where are we to with these here I'll just close my eyes quickly and press that shall we okay um, I'll take that out and we'll add just in that for a second let's launch those and let's uh, launch 26 minutes left on that okay Okay, so we're back up. Um, let's have a look then. We'll run through number three now. So this should get us then, like say, the Mauser. Okay, then. Um, and obviously the uh, build tokens times 10. Okay, and the, um, the, the VXP, which is quite interesting. So where I build one of these and just play around with low level targets, I don't know, we'll see. Or build two of them and there's not, I don't know. Well, let's see. I've not got a great deal I need to build at the moment, um, so I might just use my FM tokens and get the tokens out of the raid and build some extra ones, I'm not sure. Don't know, we'll see. Right, activate this then. Should it be an hour, should it? It is, it's one hour. Okay, so we're, we're, we're okay. We shouldn't have any issues. Um, so... Seven encounters. So this could be the two S targets from the last raid, couldn't it? Hmm. Let's have a look. In some respects, I hope it is. So we're just gonna blitz through one to five. Okay, six we know is the one of five, which we'll use the hell race for. Because even if I do make a mistake, it's going to be a darn sight cheaper than fixing these things. Because my hell race is fixed quite cheaply, but I've made a cheap build out of those. Which is interesting going back to the bow. It's like it's like having to do. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers the old raid where you used to have to go up through the numbers, the target numbers. You used to start really, really low and have to go up and like get one to fifty or something like that. Do you remember that raid a while back? You start at the really, really low numbers and then work your way up. It wouldn't surprise me, you know, if the um, the last two targets in this one are slightly buffed, because in the day you're getting an awful lot here for very little, aren't you? Um, but I can sort of understand why that is as well, because the tide seeker was given out for a particular reason. Because you know, what are you going to do? Give somebody a hull, and then knowingly know that they're going to take damage using it as well. So that's like a take take system. So give them the target, give them the hull and the weapons at a reasonable price. Knowing that actually they're either going to have to um, fix during the raid, i.e., take some time out, or coin during the raid because they're going to definitely take damage. So you know, it's a it's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? You know, if you're a bit of a philistine, a bit fickle, you might say, "Well, that's just a double way of taking money off of people." But you know, 
some people just don't like doing slow technical some people just like blitzing so so I'm really intrigued to see the level 7 target in this one to be honest which is probably the 107 isn't it I'm guessing but hey we'll see So that's the second one, onto the third. We'll um we'll kill off that gunboat in the uh that's interesting, says I've got two sets of tides running now. Two things so somewhere. So we're running at forty minutes now, that's not too bad, with a bit of chat in between, that's quite a reasonable reasonable time. What I should have done, uh, rather than looking at the ironclad quickly, there was um, I could have shown you the build for these actually. Would have been nice to see it in the stream. I'll do it at the end anyway. Somebody might need to remind me. <laughs> Can I get these by the bottom? Otherwise, we're going to get all those bugs kill us and hit us and damage us for no reason. So let's pull these off first. There's a pattern for these, but I haven't actually bothered trying to study it. There's a pattern for most targets for minimal damage, but the damage is normally so minimum in these it's not really worth worrying about. These are basically used to fix the low levels. So is Huggy already so nine you're saying that Huggy's already got up the um, ironclad. That's good. I tell you what, he's amazing, that guy. Without him, I think the game would not be where it is today. No, I don't think, I know. The game would not be where it is today. He does an amazing job. So yeah, again, we'll pick off this one here. We'll get this up to speed, and then um, we'll probably put these away and finish it off using the uh, hell rays. But like I was saying earlier, you know, there's an awful lot of ships now. You know, for low-level stuff, there's punishes. Um, you know the preview raid. I'm uh, the preview stream. Sorry for the targets I'm going to get into on, which is now Friday. Okay, if you zoom forward in the stream and you just got to this point, so the preview is now been changed from Thursday at 2 p.m. PST to Friday 2 p.m. PST or PT is it now? I'm not sure what it is. Um, yeah, I think it is actually. Um, and I will be checking out several. Including this, that's what I want to get this done now because then I can go in there because you always get your free coins. And I can go in there, I can build up some of these ironclads. I'm also going to build up and, and maybe jiggle around a little bit with this weapon that's I've just winged now on the Punisher as well. I'm also going to, um, I've got the, um, the Sargos Punisher as well as the leader. I want to see what that looks like because I've not managed to use that in any anything yet, to be honest. Um, Um, I'm obviously going to use um, Centurions as well. Uh, crack this thing up, and obviously I will mess around with um, some Cannoneers. So it's quite a bit to do. I'm hopefully it's a two-hour stream or a two-hour preview. Uh, if it is two hours, then I'll probably not get it all in because that's like half an hour in each type, isn't it? So should be a single target. They generally are, which will give me half an hour for each one. Yeah, so here we go. This is the um, this is the level seventy five. It's quite good on this TLC. The targets you've used, I quite like it actually. It's, it's some common sense has actually been applied here for target selection. So we've seen the um, thirty five target. We've seen the fifty seven target. We're now seeing the seventy five target. So these are the new uranium targets. Some of these, obviously, and we've seen the old raid S sets as well, or the one hundred five of it anyway. So we're expecting to see the one hundred seven. 
as well then for the last round of this unless something goes horribly wrong but we'll see go on crank up you Go south for this, and we'll finish these off. So, yeah, again, one to five, all done for less than a quarter of damage, really, which is nice, isn't it? Um, and bear in mind, like I said, because it's a TLC, you don't need to worry about getting the the flag, the, the marked up flags like this one here. Like, if you, if you don't want to, you can just ignore them and let them sail past. Especially if you're, um, you don't get no bonus for it, so there's no need to do it. Okay, there we go. Do hands off and just order that bit. Hey Mike, how are you, mate? So we're on the last bit, Mike. To be honest, it, I'm actually you just popped in, buddy. So you have to worry watch the the earlier piece. Um, but so far, that's a, that's a set of three tide seekers, and this is the third run through, and that's the damage to so far on this particular run through. Okay, one to five are pretty standard. In there is the 35 target. In there is also the 57 target. Um, and also is the 75 target from the uranium. It's, it's great. Um, so not too bad damage-wise. About three hours, I'm reckoning, or, or thereabouts. And with some pretty appalling driving, uh, as I always do when I blitz. But that's it. Um, run through number two, the sixth target then, which I'm going to switch to in a second now, uh, which is the penultimate target in this third round, uh, is the 105 from the raid. So I'm expecting the next target then to be, um, the last target, sorry, to be the 107 from the raid. But we'll see. So let's just um, change then to uh, a set of subs, and uh, let's let's move the tide seekers out of the way, and let's see if the theory works. I don't know, but we'll, we'll try. In fact, we'll just check what that fixed time was again, just to compare. Okay, so it's a oh no, that's okay. So that's not too bad, is it? So the second run through. Um, before you go to switch then to using Hellraise if you want to for the for the final piece then you should there you go you're gonna get it for roughly about two hours two hours and a bit which is not too bad so yeah first round and second round can be done with tide seekers complete if you want to or or target six which is just about to hit again now the penultimate one on the third round can be um, left and then done with the uh, well, I'm hoping with, with a set of subs so let's see shall we Let's hope there's not too much lag, but we'll see. Let's try it. I'd say this set is um, getting busy already for the raid. Interesting. It wasn't this busy the other day. So I know all that what's in the target, so I don't need to show the target. Well, my inching forward skills there didn't work so well, did it? However, I'm not against the clock here. So I'm not really worried about the ultimate damage this time. But I am worried about those um, bugs coming down. We're okay. We'll kill those off and we'll get out of the way. I'm just going to kill that little single ship off out of the way. Get rid of that drone. The good thing is about these, obviously, no one can steal your target from you, which is nice. Someone kill the gunboat, please. Thank you. So we'll pop up behind you and we'll pick them off slowly. Oh, bit of a delayed lag there. I don't know if that's because I'm streaming or whether that's... So 
what I want to do is get above the target if I can before it uh, before I rise again. Then it makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so we'll go down and pick these off. Oh, you tinkers. bit of lag myself, I don't know if you can notice that, but I definitely am. And obviously because I'm using Hell Race I'm talking less. <laughs> a little bit more concentration required. You got the way of those bugs. How are we doing? Not too bad, right. So if you do goof up by the way, there's a method of um, killing off all the stuff at the top, which is quite nice that you don't have to worry. Just let it turn, by the way. Let it turn and come towards you, and then you can just sit in front of it and kill it as it comes towards you. You haven't got to go in and take a risk, because you get into that corner there, and you'll start getting mixed up with the scout ships and that sort of stuff, and it can cause you quite a bit of pain. So there's no need to do that. Oh, too close there. That was very foolish of me, wasn't it? There you go, made a mistake straight away, and I didn't even get the blooming ship, so I've lost a sub, but hey-ho. There we go. We'll still get it cranked out. So I'm getting a bit of a game lag here. Not horrendous, though. And the driving is my fault. Yeah, Mike, so while we're just messing around with this, um, and guys in the, in the chat there, so... Um, you can definitely get to level two at least, with uh, and so you can get the special uh, build tokens as well for the whole. You can definitely get to all that um, with one with three tide seekers, which is what I did, and I used a steelhead's crew. So, so we've all seen the method of actually killing off these targets here, but like I said, you know there are other ways of getting to the front end, and and where I am now because the bugs are well out of the way, look. You can just let these things come towards you as well. It's because those bugs don't come up now. And there's nothing in front to do any harm. So you can just inch away. Although I've lost a ship, I know that. There we go. So now all the bugs are, you know, you can, you can go and kill the bugs off if you want to. Oh, they've upped the time limit as well. This was a 10 minute target and they've now upped it. Whoops, let's not get too cocky, get too close. I've noticed that it gets up to, um, so that must have been 20 minutes allowance on this. I didn't notice that when I entered. So let's get rid of these bugs just in case they cause us some annoyance later on. Now there are no, um, there's no, um, even make ships left, so not get too close because they do have thermal. Oh, sorry, they do have um, sonar. There we go. The rest of it now should be pretty straightforward. Should. So we've got this Hades left then, and then a couple of scouts, and obviously just remember the Hades, obviously the ones that kick out all the flipping, um, um, yeah, got a bit of lag then. So the, the Hades is the one that kicks out the old slicks, so just bear that in mind. But it's nice that they give you some extra time as well for this target, so um, I didn't actually notice that in the uh, in round two, I wasn't looking at the time clock because I was blatting around with Tide Seekers, so... Oh, 
I mean, you could, we could complete this in an hour easy. Three tide seekers up to up to number five, and then I'm being a bit necky here. Uh, and then basically, you uh, hell race for the last two targets. About what ten minutes per target? Let's get out of the way quickly. So ten, twenty, and then th thirty minutes probably for the whole thing. I think. It isn't so bad, is it? Knock us in what we've just won, and you know, okay, yeah, I coined those things. That was just for the for this. I could have left that overnight and fix it free. So actually, for all those prizes for nothing, that's not bad. But I'll revert back to what I said earlier on that you know. This is uh, if the ironclad is a hole that is going to cost you fixed time if you choose to use it in the raid. So it needs to have been cheap to get. I wonder if this is going to be the format for the year. They're going to do this for time. Nearly there. What we got? Yeah, just those few now. That's it. Yeah, I did say that, Andrew. I have to say, you know, it's free. I could have not coined those tides and just left them go overnight and fix. So, um, but I don't think you want to stream to last 24 hours, do you? Well, you do. Maybe I do. Maybe you do. I don't know. Surely it won't be me doing it. Whoa. Wrong angle. That's the better angle. The let them come to me angle. So I'll say that the event is free um, for those individuals if you've got the time and you're not in a rush. And to be honest, it probably would have been free totally because I could have just used um, the Tide Seekers up to level 5 in all three rounds and. Um, use the hell race here. Yes, I've lost one sub. Um, now I don't want to peak this. 35, 39 minutes left, so that's fine. What does it cost me to fix that sub? Because if it is the 107, I really could do a three, uh, four subs. Yeah, you know I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, you could have probably just used the Tide Seekers for all three rounds and then finished off the last three. No, target six in round two and target six and seven in round three. Now, personally, um, before I start this, if it is the 107, I'm going to get rid of this um, lead hole because it's really, really annoying. Okay, that's gone. Okay, so this is the final target. Um, let's see how we get on. Let's hope it is. Not hope it is, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so that confirms it then. It is definitely the 107 target. It even says 107 on the top um, up here. Uh, if you can see that, I'm not really sure if you can. But uh, that's good news. So I'm quite content with that. So, if my driving isn't too horrendous, so it takes a little while to get decent at this sort of target, we'll see. See if I can snack them as well. That's how. Ooh, that's not good. And what's the time limit now? So it's, yeah, it's 20 minutes. They've doubled the time, which is good. So there's less less pressure. I 
And like I say, completely ignore the um, the flagged ships because you don't need to kill them off. Okay, how are we doing? We're not in a rush, so... Ah, oh, interesting, that one's on the move. I must have got a bit closer to it than I needed to. You notice on these ones here when you come in at 90 degrees as well, you don't actually need to get as close as you think you do. I need to do a master class on 107 and say, A, I'm not a master, and B, everyone's seen the raid targets, so this is nothing new. How are we doing then? So we'll just click the hour, so that's not too bad, um, with a bit of a chat in between. So. This shouldn't take too much longer. Um, I must remember to show the tide seeker build. <laughs> As I'll forget, I'm sure. Stacking better now. Oh, too close, too late. It's alright, we'll just take one top off that. I won't get some, though, which is something. I would if I sit there and raise, though. That was my fault. It wasn't even a lag. Okay. So, we're just um, going to pop off some of those hulks around the ships now. I think the thing with this, watching S targets is like watching paint dry, isn't it? At least you can see my subs, because otherwise if you couldn't, that would be even worse. So I'm going to try and pick off this one down here. First. That's the plan anyway. Um, and then kill the top one up there, and then uh, kill the four ships.
And oh, hell, oh, hell is breaking loose. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It's a bit of a lazy way of doing it, but hey. I can fix these for free, so. Certainly would not have done that in the raid. Come on then. There we go. Let's get the rest of these bugs out of the way. Okay, top one's a lot easier. Let's get those bugs out of the way. Like I say, that wasn't the most prettiest way of doing it. And to be honest, I would definitely not have done that in the raid. It would have cost me a fortune, but I can fix these for free. Yeah, those scouts are well out of the way now, so. Can come in and kill this uh, big ship. Get it gone. There we go. Get rid of them bugs. Should get rid of these and then get rid of the four scouts, and we're finished. an hour and ten minutes that'll be. That's not too bad. Nine's you're right. <laughs> it's not the most exciting uh, target in the world, is it? And I can't throw my keyboard at the screen because I've only got one. Come on then, last two. Here we go. Boom. Should be it. Yep. Good. There we go guys, we're done. Okay, yeah, okay, I lost a stuff, but whoopee do. It can fix tonight, can't it? For free. So, um campaign done, completed. Uh there's the stats for the mouse there. Um which we'll talk about tonight, I'm sure, on the show. Or if you're watching this after the show is finished, then go back and watch the first show of season two. Um you'll get all this information. Uh, and Ren and I know and Brian have done gone done to maths and, and worked out what to go with what and that sort of stuff. So yeah. Interesting weapon, but bear in mind it doesn't have a speed boost with it. Um, but you can't have everything. Good, right, let's put some stuff away and I'll just quickly then show you the um the bill for those tie seekers. Uh if anyone is interested. Ah, 
Andrew, you never upset me, mate. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's that's basically what I've got then. So oh, I put a didn't realise I put a calamity scatter on there. Oh yeah, that was for bugs coming in close. Um, yeah. And when I was targeting things, so it's garbage Gatling guns across the board. Look, yeah, yeah, okay. I went, obviously went for the, um, the the CT armor right the way across, which is which is doing a really, really good job. Um, Hydro resistors, as you can see there. I was using the um, advanced concussive payload system. Obviously, got a uh, AA3, which is nice to have. Then I've got um, Agility System 4 on those as well. And uh, just to get a bit more splash, because I sort of run out of it, it's a special supply. I just went for combustion system, which is. Um, it's nice for it helps uh, kill the bugs, which is quite good. So uh, that's it. And I don't think the other the other ones are any different, to be honest. Uh, no, they're the same. So that's it. Okay, we're done. Okay. Hey, it's Tito's just coming right at the, right at the end. There we go. So um, I'll just say uh, thanks for streaming, uh, watching the stream. Sorry, and um, look forward to seeing you guys. Uh, those that are on later on, if it's still the same day, that is, um, for the first uh, show of the season. So um, there you are. The whole thing finished for just over an hour, which is not too bad. Uh, what do you get? You got six hours for the first one, three hours for the second one, and one hour for the third one. So you know that's that's considerably it can be done considerably less. You can definitely do it for free, um, and with a little bit of jiggery pokery there, you know you can definitely get through one to five using tide seekers, um, and then obviously number, target six and target seven can can be done with subs. So um, all all will be good. All right. Okay, take care. Thanks very much for coming in.